Hey kids, welcome back to String Cheese and Applesauce. We're doing another Lego Friends live build today. Today it is Andrea's Mountain Hut. This is set number 41031. And this is a 2014 set that come out in the summer wave. So um, halfway through the year 2014 is where this set came out. So it's fairly new if you're watching this pretty recently. If you're watching this two years from now. Sorry, you may have missed it. It may be discontinued. But if you didn't get a chance to get it and you're watching in the future, then uh, let's see what you missed. So looking on the back here, there's um, your typical little small captions that show you some of the play features. We're really not gonna look at, this isn't a review. We're not gonna review the set and, and look at all the things it does. There'll be another video for that. So, um, let's just get down to what we're here for. Let's skip all the small talk. Just get down to business. So we've got two bags, big one, small one, one small instruction book. Now the set only has 119 pieces, so it's really not that big at all. It's, it's actually really small and, and my cat, my cat is here on the desk with me, making, making all kinds of noise. Um, so, that being said, this should be a fairly quick little build. I don't see this really taking too long. Um, of course, I will stop and show you some of the new or interesting and or rare pieces. Um, I can already see one that is interesting. Not really rare, but it's interesting. I'll show you that. This piece, let's just go ahead and get this over with while these pieces are all sprung apart everywhere. This piece is fairly new, came out in 2014, maybe the end of 2013 when, when the new Friends set started coming out. It is a 3x3 three three plate in a cross pattern. So this is really cool for holding pieces that come from four different angles all together at the top or at the bottom, doesn't matter. Um, the downside to this piece is right now it only comes in this color, which is a um, orangish tan color. It doesn't even match like this tan. It doesn't match the brown. So it's, it's really a, a weird color. So that's kind of a, it's, it's a cool piece. I love this piece. I just really wish they'd make it in more common colors. Um, this map, this map is not a new print. We've seen it in, in plenty of sets before, but it's not really that common. Um, so you can kind of see it's, it's kind of cryptic. It's really not mapping out any specific area. Kind of looks like something you'd see in, in some of the, uh, the original Hobbit book. If you ever read that book, it has little maps that are drawn in there. Kind of has that kind of artistic style. Um, let's see what else. I think that's it for the new piece or uh, rare pieces, rare or interesting pieces. Um, the camera is always cool. It's one of my personal favorites of all of the accessories that come with Lego minifigures. The camera is one of my favorites. I just I really like the mold. It's kind of un from. From here, whoops, sorry, I was out of the camera view there. From, uh, I'm not gonna show this, it's so small. From this point over here, it's kind of realistic looking. But then it's got this huge, like, bucket handle off to the side. It's needed, you need that handle to be able to get a minifigure to grip onto it. You see, their, their hands are, are pretty big. Um, but, still cool, I like, I like the camera, the mold of it. So that's um, not not rare or new or anything, but just one of my personal favorites. All right, so we're gonna build this. I'm just gonna kind of talk talk our way through it as we're building. I'm also gonna have a, a speed build, just kind of a, a quick little speed build of it that you can, I'll probably put a link right in here somewhere. You can click on that. And um, if you don't wanna watch this whole thing, you can see the speed build. So, let's get right into it. The first set of instructions, of course, we're gonna build our minifigure. And um, 
I'm, I'm gonna do a, a kind of a review, an all-inclusive review of this set. Really go into a lot of the details of it um, later on. So I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna show you a lot of the detail of the model or the minifigure. But there's the minifigure. Um, it also calls for the minifigure to hold on to a red cup. This is the typical Lego City standard issue coffee mug. And we have a walking stick with what, with what looks like either um, a roll of toilet paper on the end or maybe you can call it a marshmallow. Let's go with, let's see, why would you be walking around? Well, I could see why you'd be walking around the, 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 the forest with a roll of toilet paper. Um, but let's call it a marshmallow, just for um, cleanliness sake. See what I did there? We'll call it a marshmallow. Now, <laughs> this, this thing is so heavy, it's so long and heavy that um, who, who is this? This is Andrea, right? Who's the minifigure in here? Yeah, I was right. This is Andrea. So it's it's kind of awkward if, if Andrea is holding this down, kind of, let's say, over a fire. Let's say it is a marshmallow. You can see it, it, it pulls her down. And the, the mini dolls don't, don't really bend backwards. Unlike a minifigure that will actually bend a little bit backwards, these stop. So there's no way I can counterbalance it. Hey, I said I wasn't going to do a review. What am I doing? Let's get back to building. For some reason that just made me giggle. They give... You see that a lot on the Chima sets. They, they build a, a huge weapon for this tiny little minifigure. Sometimes the weapon is as big, if not bigger, than the minifigure. And um, you put it in their hand and they just tumble right over. Because they can't... <laughs> They can't. They don't have enough weight to hold it down. No. It's kind of funny. I don't have anything wrong with it because I understand that you, you know you're supposed to use your imagination and really you're you're kind of holding the minifigure and, and playing with them. So the the way to alleviate uh, uh, elite, the way to make it not happen is uh, you actually put the minifigure on a on a plate and the plate will. We'll hold them on. There you go. You get a live build and a lesson. A Lego lesson. All for free. Unless you paid for this. If you paid for this video, I'm sorry to hear that. No refunds. You're on your own. All right, so we have this. We just built this thing. A little stool, I guess. Let me scoot over to out of the view of the pieces that we're done building. So now we're on to the next little build, and we're gonna go ahead and use our little cross plate that I showed you earlier. And it is actually on the bottom of the plate. So, like I said, it could be on the top or bottom, it doesn't matter. It could be in the middle. You use it wherever you want. Um, you use it on the sides. Looks like we're going to use it to make, we're going to build a fire. Look at that. How about that? Let me zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. i got this crazy angle here at this camera. So you can see we've got, um, got a cross here. We've got some flowers indicating that this is a ground. And we're going to put this, uh, this modified plate on here with this clip. Right there. So on that clip... We'll take one of these fire pieces and go ahead and clip it on there. Right there. So look at that. So our little cross plate underneath all this is, is really there to represent some wood that's been laid down on the ground. We've got a fire and then we'll take this, this cool little pot, clip it on here. Look at that. Nice little campfire. Warming up your your pot of grub. 
And the instructions show to put one of these little trans clear studs in there inside this pot. So it's almost like we're boiling water. I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's that stud in there. It's in there. You have to trust me. So that's it for that little build. We'll put that to the side. Now it's on to the main attraction, our hut. And I'm zoomed in way too close now. Zoom back out. Get our hut going. Just stacking some of these little modified bricks that kind of look like look like logs. Nothing too crazy yet. I think the most of these builds are pretty pretty simple. Um, the age range for this is five to twelve. So um, I bet if you're you know, the, putting putting the small pieces on there, like the, the, these little fire pieces and everything, those are hard for, for four and five year olds, um, so even some six year olds. Um, not all of them, you know, some of, some of the kids have better coordination than others, but overall this, this whole set I think is gonna be real easy for, for most all age ranges. Um, so if you're if you're a six year old and you really want this set, get it. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be easy to build. It's gonna be fun to play with. I can tell that already. I didn't even have to build this set. Um, all of these friend sets, every every one that I've bought and built, bought in. Did I just make up a word? Every one that I've bought and have built. Um, I've really been impressed with. They have a ton of playability. There's a ton of stuff you can um, do with them. Everything from the smallest ones all the way up to the biggest ones. There's, it's, it's just absolutely designed well. I mean, you couldn't... Lego did a great job with these. You couldn't ask for anything better. Um... I mean, maybe you could. Maybe you could ask for them to be a little, little, little less expensive, because um, some of the big sets are, are expensive. So, if you take out price factor, um, these these toys are absolutely great for kids and adults alike that maybe you know are still being kids. I mean, who am I kidding? I'm an adult, and I, I still like like building these sets. It's something I really enjoy. I, I, I personally enjoy the build, and not only um, opening a Lego set and building it per the instructions, but I, I just love taking them apart afterwards. I mean, if you see all the videos I have on my channel, you see I have a bunch, and I don't keep barely any of those assembled longer than maybe maybe two months is the longest that they stay assembled um, you know just because I build I seem to get more in than I can build but what I do is I disassemble them and once I have all the pieces sorted and put away then I you know, start building stuff with them. So I just, just in general, I like building. So we're getting pretty close to the top here of the, uh, the hut. Um, Nothing too, too wild or crazy. It's 
pretty um, straightforward. It's not a um, it's not a huge hut. I'll tell you that right now. Um, there was a Lego Creator Mountain Hut set. Check it out. I have a video of that one. That is more um, more like a mountain hut. You know, the, a full size hut. This one is um, turning out to be quite a bit smaller than than a, a true hut. May be called a a shack or a shanty. Something something a little bit smaller than a hut. But either way, it's still um, still a nice little build. And you know, like I said, I'm not, I'm not going to do a full review here. I'm going to save that for another video. So if you want to see the review of this set, we're going to look at all the details of it. Um, <clears throat> it's a series of videos I like to call everything you need to know about fill in the blank. And that fill in the blank would be one of these sets. So um, I had done quite a few of those um, everything you need to know series. But then I got sidetracked and started just you know, trying to crank out a bunch of videos at once, and I really like the Everything You Need to Know videos, because, um, you know, we can cover a lot of stuff. It's more than a review, it's kind of a, you know, it shows you the build, it talks about all the pieces, and, and everything else you need to know about it, so. I don't like to call it a review, it's not a, it's not a, a you know, a, a build, it's not a, just let's look at all the parts. It's it's kind of a little bit of everything, and um, I have some ideas to make those videos a little bit better. Not that they were bad, you know, if I say so myself, but I think they could be a little bit better. So I've been researching ways to make them better, and I think I I know what to do. So we're gonna try some new things with our everything you need to know series and we're gonna try them with a couple of these smaller Lego friend sets because who doesn't love Lego friends they are probably one of the coolest themes that I know of in the Lego series if you agree with me hit that like button come on Lego friends is pretty awesome I know you like Lego Friends, or you wouldn't be watching this video. Or maybe you just like Lego in general. If you like Lego in general, hit that like button. I think it's right right here. Where is it? It looks like this. So it's got a little thumbs up thing. Pull back so you can see that. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Come on. You've used YouTube before. You know what the little like button looks like. All right, so we're decorating the, we've got the hut built and now we're kind of camouflaging it. We've got all kinds of um, um, growth going over here on the top and on the sides. And that's it, we're done with the build. So here's what we have. We have our hut right here. We'll do a review of it. We do have some extra pieces. We've got, um, Trans clear stud. We have an extra fire piece. We do have a um, couple flowers with a stem. And then we have this pink stud and one of these sand colored cheese slopes right there. So those a few extra pieces. So back to our, our builds. We have the hut. We have our fire with our pot. We have this little stool. And the instructions show the squirrel. We didn't really look at the squirrel because it kind of came in at the very, very last here. So we do have this little animal that just hit the ground. So there's our little squirrel. And I zoomed in 
too close. Why do I do this? We'll look at it in our review. So the squirrel sits on the stool. You have Andrea with her top heavy stick. And what else we got? We've got the camera and a map. There we go. That is it. That is everything. Right there. So like I said, um, hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. We're going to do some cool stuff with these, with these uh, sets from here on out with our Everything We Need to Know series. Um, we're going to make them fun. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on with them. Um, make sure to check us out on Instagram, String Cheese and Applesauce. We uh, post pictures of these sets before they're even on YouTube. So if you're not on Instagram, you've already missed this. Because I've already got this on Instagram. Um, it's also a cool way to kind of see what's coming up on YouTube. It's like a sneak peek. You know, we'll show you the sets we're building. And the videos usually post, you know, three, four, five, sometimes a week later. Um, well, three or four or five days later, not, not three or five weeks later. That would be awkward to have a, a video post weeks later. Anyway, why do I keep rambling like that? Instagram, String Cheese and Applesauce. Check it out. Make sure to subscribe, like, and thanks for watching. If you made it this far, you're the best. We love you. We'll catch you next time.